Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in Interstellar Rift. We're going to be completing the ship that we started last time, doing a walkthrough, and in the next video we're going to actually start the game. There may be an issue though, we used a lot of materials to make the ship, meaning that once we actually get into the primary game, we're going to have to be able to find the resources to make the ship. If we can't do that, then what we're going to do is use the ship that is given to us by our faction to be able to get those resources. So, enjoy, and I will talk to you once we get done with the ship.
Okay, so here it is, the final ship, um, or the finished ship, as you can see. We have a really cool profile to it. Um, this kind of looks weird, just because it's coming over the top of this, and there is no rounded portion where this kind of is, it's concealed a little bit. Is that taller? Is that the problem? <laughs> because... Yeah, no, that's the problem because this is, um, let's see here. This is one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a little bit taller. I kind of don't like that. Maybe I should have it come down more. I'll work on that <laughs> some other time. But I am, I kind of feel like I skimped or I didn't do very well on these main sails. I was more just trying to get it to look decent and uh, get it done because I really wanted to be done with this right here and was hoping it was going to be enough power but it wasn't to even move the thing if you see here now the it's more than enough it's 449 meters per second which is very fast for a ship this big and it has very high maneuverability which is also not normal for a ship this big that said, we did go over in certain things like um, right here, the silicon. That's not something that's usually available in bulk where you start. So this may be something that we can't even create right off the bat. It may be a ship that we're going to have to build up to. <laughs> so there is that possibility. Also... 5,000 aluminum is also something that you don't normally see in this area. So, um, I feel it's nice though. It has a pretty decent profile all around. Um, if you go that. I did uh, another mosaic on the bottom, kind of just a little bit different. Um, it's very hard to see because of the, there is no color set to this. So that was, that's one thing I was going to ask you is give me a color scheme that you want me to use. Um, there are several different colors that are available um, that we can use. Just give me a number or we can say this is row one and then whatever number across. And this is row two and whatever number across you want me to use. Give me two colors at least. Give me three or four colors if you want me to go even more into detail but uh, as far as this being usable, we should be able to go ahead and be done with it. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. And as you can see, I'm on the station. We're going to go ahead and now build that ship. And we'll choose the Cypher Deck Galactic Miner Mark 1. Build it. It's done. Uh, and just because we're in testing mode, we're not in the main mode. Uh, one thing I, w I do need to do is I need to get some oxygen, but I want to test to see if the ship can actually work without having any, uh, hydrogen in it. So, 
see if it can run purely off of electrical. Let's go ahead and go into uh, here. We're just going to get two things of oxygen and we'll take those with us. We don't have to send them over to the ship. So the first thing we'll find out as soon as we get over there, if we, you know what? Safety, safety. I'm going to bring a little bit of hydrogen and we're going to teleport into the hydrogen room or into the engine room so that we can, uh, let's do that. There we go. We have hydrogen just in case, just to be able to teleport ourselves out uh, or to open the doors. But I feel that we have enough electrical power on the ship that we should be able to move about without any issues. Main thing is going to be oxygen. And we'll try to get to that as soon as possible. So here we are. I'm going to check our ship. We're going to go to the engine room and we're going to teleport. And here we are. First thing you can see is these are moving. That's good. Power is going to them. I can see that they're going down though. Um, let's go ahead and pull up our systems here. Let's go to status, ship status. Huh. So it's not even producing any power. That's not good. So we do have to have hydrogen in these tanks. So let's go ahead and put the hydrogen that I have on me into the tank. It's not very much. This will actually go away really fast. Um, so let's go ahead and try to get up to the engine room as fast as we can so we can put some oxygen in it. This is the electrical room. This is where all of our um, our power output is being um, monitored or done with our um, all of our solar panels. Uh, also, the batteries that are in the ship. Um, I, I honestly don't know what those are for. <laughs> I know that they store power. And uh, we need to come here, put one there one there and we're going to go ahead and pull up this system here just to check our status nope that's not what i want nope that's also not what i want i'm just randomly picking things here we go so you can see this is going to run through 8,000 pretty fast actually it was 10,000 i think originally so it's going to go through it pretty fast we can also see default group, uh, the amount of power that it's putting out, which I don't know why this wouldn't automatically put out power because of the solar panels. You can see here the bridge has oxygen on it, um, and our shields are completely powered for as long as this lasts, which isn't going to be very long. So anyway, here's the bridge. Um, it's very nice. It's kind of a sporty cockpit that I went with. We have this, which of course you can check your systems. Fuel's getting low really fast. We have our, this is hacking. This is where you would connect to another ship and you can hack their engines to make them stop. You can hack their weapons to make them stop attacking you. And then at that point they become unmobile, Im immobile, immobile and you can um, strike them down where they are, or you can board their ship if it's another person's ship. I don't think you can board the Skrill ships. That'd be interesting, though, if you could. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so that's what that's used for. This is used for buffs, and both of these have um, more than what it's showing. They both hold eight cartridges, but because I have a server room which has the ability to hold much more of than what this is showing, uh, they can access all of those chips that are in the servers at the server room. Engineering table here. Um, we can actually go back, go to ship stats, go to advanced, and uh, we can see how everything is actually being used. So here you're going to see that uh, how everything, how much power, 
that scared me. How much power is being used for each individual thing. And um, over here, it's our jukebox. I don't have it up too loud. Teleporter, shields. We can check our shields there. Again, when I keep a check of that status, we are now out of fuel. <laughs> All right. Here's our cargo room. This is um, where all of our manufacturing, all of our mining is going to happen. We have a total of four miners. We have two uh, refineries. We also have two teleporters at the end here so that we can teleport our hydrogen directly into our hydrogen tanks or whatever it is. Maybe we'll want to transport to uh, the station that we're at. Also over here, we have the ability to modify our ship, to build ships, and so on. Some extra batteries over here, teleporter, and um, let's go ahead and go back down to the bottom so we can look at the assembly room. So one things, two things actually that they just added this week are you can see what it requires to make things now. So in this, this is the printer. It already shows you what it requires to make the things. Uh, these are the buffs that you can add. You can buff your engines, your power, your combat, so on. You can do all that. This is where you hack. These are the three chipsets that you use to hack, to repair, and then to do an overall repair on hack systems. You can make guns. You can also make repair tools, and also you can make food. Um, this is where your automation for uh, your uh, extractors or mining uh, devices are. Also for your um, for your refineries as well as your printers, and then also other things can be done here. It's very easy. So these are your actual assemblers. These are used to make missiles, and one of the things they just added is this, the encyclopedia, something that has been really, really needed, really needed. Um, let's go ahead and go back. Let's say we need to make a missile. Let's make a normal missile. There we go. So it tells us what we need. Um, it says here, standard missile, a self-guiding, self-propelled uh, missile that can be launched from the missile launcher. You can click on these. It tells you what it is. The only thing that I'm not seeing... Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't see that before. You can see it also takes steel. And then it also takes... I can't remember what that is. Nitrous oxide. Which is um, nitrogen and oxide. <laughs> oxygen. Nitrogen and oxygen. So it's pretty cool that you can actually see everything that is available now... Even down to the engines, uh, it shows you how much resources it's going to take to make your ship based off of the things you put in it. Like this here, this is brass, uh, steel, and um, silicon. So very, very nice. I'm liking it. Love that. Love it. Um, so anyway, there's that. Let's go ahead and move upstairs. By the way, that is very satisfying the way the doors open this game. <laughs> Something I really, really like. Here is your electrical. I think I've already shown you this. Uh, this actually leads into the engine room, but we'll go ahead and uh, look at that in a moment. These are not batteries. I cannot, they're like capacitors that release an electrical charge whenever they're needed. So that is very cool where these are actual batteries and you can see how much they're charged which this one is barely charged, this one hasn't even charged, and so on. And then up at the top here, we have our computer room. This is where everything can be uh, stored as far as your chipsets. Every time you add a chipset to one of these, it'll actually light up. It's really cool, and you can see that on the back here, there is no panel to actually access. Uh, they just all... Uh, work through the two terminals that we have on the bridge all right let's go ahead and go to the engine room and then finally we'll go to the main sails all right 
So I believe by these being blue, it means that they are charged and ready to go. Um, you can see that these batteries up here, these are the small hydrogen reactors, but all these batteries are completely charged. That means we can run off of those for a little bit of time, which is cool. I like that. So let's see how much power it's saying now. Uh, status, ship status. slowly going down but it is still usable like it so that is awesome uh, really I'm glad I went ahead and made the decision to change that to add the batteries up here or at least add more batteries up there because that was not a thing also in every room you should be able to check the status. I'm sorry I keep choosing the status but every room you should see that this engine room right here where it says hundred percent that the life support is at 100%. In every room, you should be able to see that. If you don't see that, then you forgot to add a fan into that room. Uh, hydrogen reactors, I don't know if I showed you guys these yet. Um, these terminals are not accessible or usable yet. Something that they um, will be changing at some point. And here's one of my favorite animations. That is so cool that it does that. That's shutting down a, um, a shield generator. And then it kicks back on. Um, you can see here uh, the output. And you can see the total output at the moment uh, from our generators. And this is using only electrical power now because the, uh, the hydrogen tanks are dead. So that is really cool. Uh, you can also lower these. So you can say that you want to just lower the uh, generator output so it only does 5,000. That way you can save some power. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of reactors. Um, I wanted to make sure this thing could go and it could go fast. It just needed to have the extra help of those two main engines so uh, let's go ahead and go to check that out it's going to tell us that it's a small teleporter all right and so here we are our main engine uh one of two of them there really isn't much you can do here though i think if you actually had access to the side a little bit more uh, you would be able to see like a, a something in the middle there. I, I can't remember. But we've already finished the ship. Can't go back now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do one last thing. I'm going to teleport to the mining facilities. There we go. And we're going to come over here because I really want to just check this thing out real quick. See if um, it does have anything. Let's just go ahead and do three like that. Actually, let's make it a four. We'll make it big. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger this way as well. And we're going to go ahead and add that engine in. Um, I honestly there all right now then we're going to go ahead and click on this that way it allows my mouse to be free just see if we're missing anything in here no it's just the looks i mean the engine looks really cool you can actually see these spinning if i remember correctly so i mean it's it's a really neat looking thing but it's it's um it's not anything that we actually have to see uh I, I don't think. I hope not. I hope whenever we get attacked, if Skrill attack us with their Skrill eggs, that this doesn't bind up and we can't see it and then we're stuck in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> unable to repair our ship. But anyway, guys, that is all for today. I'm going to go ahead and end here. Hopefully you enjoyed. And um, yeah, this is Cypher Deck. Peace out.